Hey, this is Chris for Guitar.com here at NAMM 2019 with Billy from Fender, who's going to talk to us about the American Acoustasonic Telecaster. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so one of the great uh, exciting things we have here at Fender at the booth this year is a completely new take on acoustic guitars. So what you'll see here behind us is the American Acoustasonic Telecaster. Um, Brian Swordfeger, who was on the in, um, design team, is going to actually be playing, and I'll walk you through exactly what each of the positions are and, and where the mindset was as we kind of work through this guitar. So the first position Brian's going to play, um, position five all the way up. This is a mod knob, modification knob, and it allows us to, to move between the sounds at each, each of the voices that are in each position, and then your volume knob. The one thing you'll notice here is there's a normal piezo pickup that you can't see that's under the saddle. There's a magnetic pickup here that's modified from the version we use for our electric guitars. And then under the top is a body sensing pickup. And we'll talk a little bit more through that when we get to that position. But what Brian's gonna do is take you through the first position, which is um, position five on the A side, which is a rosewood back and side spruce top dreadnought. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take the mod knob as Brian's playing so you can hear it. We're going to go from the same tone woods, which is rosewood back inside, spruce top, but we're going to move to an auditorium body. So you'll hear the, the, the heaviness and the booming bass of a dreadnought start to, to come more alive and you'll get mids and highs that'll start to break through. in the full auditorium body. So as Brian's playing, I'm gonna roll from the auditorium back into the dreadnought. Cool, so now we're gonna move to position two. Position two, on the guitar, or sorry, position four starts as a maple back inside parlor. So small, tight, brighter sounds, um, great for picking, pulling out individual string nuances. And now what we're gonna do is roll in all the way to the B side, which is a mahogany back inside spruce top dreadnought. So the idea here as we move through this is grab all the great features of a parlor, but add in a little bit more mids or bass to whatever the each individual player they're liking. So Back into parlor. So you get there in the first position five and four right away, you, um, there's shape shifting going on so that you can move seamlessly between body shapes all within one guitar, all within two positions. Position three is actually what we're gonna do is start off and now you're, um, it's a Brazilian rosewood guitar. So you can hear it's more hi-fi than the other rosewood guitar. You're going to get brights and highs that are going to break through more than the previous version. And now what we're going to do is we're going to engage the um, under the top, the body sensing pickup that I spoke to a minute ago. What this does is it's going to pick up the resonance of the top and allow for different harmonic playing. Um, think tapping, where you get different tonal qualities depending on where you tap on the guitar. But it gives um, players just yet another feature set. And even if they don't use the harmonics or the tapping, it bolsters the overall sound of the Brazilian Rosewood Dreadnought. Favor, tap on the guitar while it's not engaged. So you can hear, you're still hearing a little bit, but it's just the piezo picking that up. Once we roll in the body sensing pickup, 
now all of a sudden you can hear the differences in what you're capable of doing. So just another cool feature, and we're only into position three, so already we've had six distinct variations of voicing that's going on. When we move back over into now position two, we're gonna start off, and this is a mic'd up uh, dreadnought, more of an Americana style. Um, instead of an acoustic electric, think um, singer-songwriter sitting in front of a, a mic'd up version of their guitar. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to engage the magnetic pickup for the first time. So the best way to describe this is think um, from a studio side, if you're double tracking where you record an acoustic and you record an electric and then you mix them to get the sound that you're looking for for that specific song, now we have the ability to do it again without even switching guitars. Now you get kind of a cool variation on, you know, just a different style of an acoustic sound where you've layered in electric. And then again, because we're Fender and we're known for our electric tone, we gave position one is going to be clean electric. Now what we're gonna do is when we roll the mod knob in, what we're doing is we're boosting. So think fat clean, not distorted, but just a fatter clean sound. And again, this is through one of our Acoustasonic amps, so an electric sound coming through an acoustic guitar amp, but the possibilities become endless depending on what style of amp you play. You can literally plug directly into the front of house and play through a PA and get all the sounds that you heard. You can plug into, we're also using a deluxe reverb, so a tube amp, an acoustic guitar through a tube amp. You also, in the elect electric position for the electric player, now you have all the capabilities that you have in your own pedal board if you choose to use that and you feel right at home because the guitar feels like an electric. So you get all these possibilities without having to switch back and forth with your tech as far as what guitar you're gonna use for what specific application. So that's the walkthrough of the American Acoustic Sonic Telecaster. Thanks, Billy. Cheers, man. Yeah.